guys, welcome back. How's it going? We are, I was about to say we are back to playing, but this is actually the first time we've ever played this game. It is called VTuber Connect. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I found this game on Steam, right? And it looks so freaking cool. Just looks so freaking cool. It is free to play for anyone that wants to play it. It is a visual novel. Apparently, it's emotional. I did not. But, uh, let's see, what does it say? VTuber Connect contains depictions and mentions of sensitive topics including depression, anxiety, and self-hate. Viewer discretion is advised. You hear that, guys? You all better be careful. Also, there's no music right now, but I'm pretty sure music will jump in at some point and will just, like, absolutely destroy my ears. Let's find out. The oh, hi! You did! <coughs> Welcome! VTuber Connect! Look at this start screen, y'all. This start screen... Oh my god, I love this. Look at that hair! I want hair- I want hair like- like this. But like hair- Oh, this is pretty. This reminds me- Actually, I don't know what this reminds me of. I have Dr. Pepper though, so I'm gonna drink that. But guys- Oh. Do that. <laughs> Welcome- Let me turn this down a little bit. It looks like it's too- Too, uh... I don't know. I don't know, but let's just get right into this game. I don't know how long it is, but... Oh! The sounds of heavy armor, clashing steel, and furious button mashing fill the air. Damn. The girl in front of me is deeply focused, rhythmically bobbing her head to match with her character's actions. This is the final boss of the video game she's been trudging through for over 50 hours of in-game time. My eyes are glued to the chaotic but method methodical movements of the characters in-game. I have not eaten this entire day, but this is the conclusion to a month-long journey of constant revives, unlucky deaths, and cathartic victories. Man, you should probably eat something. I don't know. I will either see this fight to the end, or I will die trying. Please end this soon, though. I'm actually starving. The towering figure slashes at the play player character on screen, but the attacks are met with perfectly timed rolls. Suddenly, the boss contorts its body to slash behind itself, landing a direct blow to the player. Did you forget about that attack pattern? Oh no, she's one hit away from death. If she, if she dies here and starts again, that means another 10 minutes, 10 minute long dance, where she has to dodge 10 attacks for every one attack she gets in. Also, another 10 minutes where I get the orange to backseat and don't get to eat. The starry-eyed girl starts leaning forward in true gamer fashion to indicate that she's completely focused. I don't know about you guys, but I don't lean forward whenever it gets intense. I'm like leaning backwards. I'm like, no! <laughs> Within the game, the armored player manages to land a successful string of hits. The health bar of the final of the boss almost drops to zero, but there is not enough time to get another hit in before the boss can retaliate. Showing perfect restraint, the girl manages to roll away in time to dodge the counterattack. This is it, a sliver of health on both sides. Any one successful hit will mean victory. The boss leaps into the air. The player character paces back and forth as if to accurately measure the distance between them and the descending foe. Right before the moment of the landing, the player character rolls immediately to the side. Anticipating the follow-up attack, another roll is performed in immediate succession. The timing ends up being flawless as there's now a golden opportunity to strike. The sword of the armored character is brought down, slashing through the boss monster. The boss falls to its knees and starts disintegrating. Finally! I immediately start clapping and joy that the that both the goals and my immediate suffering has come to an end. It's done! Blue hair <coughs> I just like how her name is Blue Haired Girl. Let me turn that down a little bit more, my goodness. Oh, the girl's body sings back to indicate that she's expended most of her energy. A monologue from the armored character starts playing to indicate the end of the journey. The end credits start rolling as the screen fades away to black. Ah, that was a great game. Mm-hmm, it truly was. I cross my arms as I nod my head in agreement. It took a while, but it's finally over. And what is your name, blue-haired girl? I really love the feeling, the feel of the controls. It felt like I had a complete agency over my character's movements. Shoma, I can tell they put a lot of effort into the way the character moves. It also helped that the quality of the soundtrack, art, and direction made for an overall immersive experience. Ooh. 
and the female lead just took this look at her design. I was basically drooling the entire game. Oh, that was gay. <coughs> hey, hey, game, I'm gonna need you to like calm down a little bit. You're getting a little loud, okay? Calm down. I need to move my mic a little bit closer. But calm down. I might draw some fan art of her later. Of course you would. Same? No, she's mine. Dang. I didn't think it would take me this long to finish the game. Alright, I might stop here for today since I have some stuff I should get done today. But first, I might step outside to take a walk. Step outside? You? Yes, I'm doing what they call touching grass. Shocking, I know. But actually, I went downtown yesterday for the first time in a while. It was because the new line of graphics card had come out not too long ago. I was trying to buy two for myself. Two? But guess what? They were only letting people buy one. Makes sense given they're normally sold out in most places. I know it's because of the shortage, but still. The employee actually looked annoyed with me that I wanted to buy two. Maybe he thought I was a scalper and was part of the reason that there was a shortage. Why do I want two? I only have one PC. I was told that I'd have to wait a month before buying another one. I think I might just look online and order them instead. I would think you could just ask someone to go with you and have them buy one as well, but I guess I shouldn't be talking. Ask a friend? Nah, I don't want to inconvenience other people. That is me. Okay, who was the one who said I have no friends? Oh no. I'm too tired to hunt you down. I'll spare you for today. There wouldn't have been any problems if there was someone with me though. Why don't you come with me next time? Okay, why the cringe was... Oh, is she streaming? Wait! Is she streaming right now? <coughs> okay, I'm leaving now. Bye! No! Yeah, that's right. Feel bad about it. No, but actually, I have to get going now. Ending the stream here. Oh, she is streaming! I'll catch up to Super Chats tomorrow. She was streaming! Oh my god! Thank you to everyone who subscribed, donated, and came to watch at any point. Oh yeah, and I wanted to remind everyone that my anniversary stream is in 9 days. That's weird, I would have expected her to sound a bit more excited about her anniversary. Maybe she's just a bit tired. Thanks again for coming to Mona's, for Mana's stream. Bye bye! I close the lid of my laptop as I get up to stretch the muscles I've neglected to use for the day. Not that I use them much anyway. Another day, another great Mana stream. I can't believe it's almost her first anniversary. It's hard to imagine that she's been able to grow so much in such a short amount of time. It's only been half a year since I've started watching her, but I've made sure to make it to every single stream, which hasn't been an easy road. I can feel myself almost transcending my human form during one of our subathons. But this is what being a Mana fan means. We walk this harsh path of silent hole digging and doing streams and meme song karaoke sessions along with her. Sometimes we are graced with situation, ASMR streams, or professionally made song. That doesn't sound right. Mana, what are you doing? <coughs> that doesn't sound friendly. I suppose I can check out some of the other VTubers I follow while Mana is offline. I still haven't eaten today, but if streams are not watched live, then what is the point? Watching a recording of a stream after the fact is again watching an anime months or even years after it's aired. You miss the experience of having live reactions and being in the moment. People would have already moved on to the next thing to talk about after stream ends. I scroll through the list of currently live VTubers. Born too late to explore the earth, born too early to explore the universe, born just in time to live through this VTuber boom. I truly am living in the best timeline. Oh! Is that a phone? Hmm? I pick up my ringing phone to see a familiar name displayed. Yoko? Hello, Yoko Ni, what's up? Shoma, that's what I was ask- That's what I should be asking you. Have you spent all day watching VTubers again? Um, of course not. I look at Shoma. He'd be kind of looking cute, not gonna lie. Um, of course not. I stepped outside to take out the trash earlier today. You haven't eaten a bite today yet either, have you? I have been consuming the entertainment media of live streaming. Quite filling, if you ask me. Shoma, you need to eat. Oi, don't make me come over there and punch you. Look here, I know it's the first summer after you've been through college, but how long do you expect to just watch VTubers all day? This isn't a phase, it's a lifestyle. I felt that in my soul, Shoma. 
Besides, I watch anime and play video games as well. And it's not like my grades are bad. It's not your academic performance that I'm worried about. Have you given up on trying to make friends? <laughs> oh my god! I know with the recent pandemic and all, it might have been more difficult to meet new people. And you might not have found what you were looking for in your first semester. But you should- but you still should make an effort to try and form meaningful relationships. I have been forming meaningful relationships, just with streamers instead. Why go through the pains of in-person relationships when I can just spend my time in the comfort of my room? I felt that in my soul, Shoma. There's no worrying about having to awkwardly acknowledge people if you make eye contact or wondering, or wondering if asking them for a favor will inconvenience them. We both know that those are two very different things. There are some things you can't get out of watching a streamer that you get from interacting with people. I can't be like you. I don't come off as friendly or amiable unless I'm really forcing myself. Compared to me, you get along with everybody pretty effortlessly because of your positivity and kindness. You don't have to be like me. I guarantee you there are people out there that like you for you. And what you said isn't completely true. I have plenty of struggles in my own relationships, and there are people out there that I don't get along with despite me trying. You have your own unique qualities that I that will allow you to connect with people. I actually did go to a meetup recently. It was a week ago. I couldn't connect with any of the people I met. They would just talk to me about sports or their classes. There's nothing wrong with those topics, but I couldn't relate at all. They just seem so carefree and uninspired. Like they were just going with the flow of life without any issues. They couldn't relate to my interests either. It took less than an hour for me to become exhausted from all of it and go home. I hear the sound of a long sigh escape from Yokoni's mouth. Don't you think that there's more to them than what they were just showing on the surface to someone they had just met? Even if they had some deep-seated passions or problems in their lives, they wouldn't want to show them to someone they had just met, right? Of course, I'm not expecting you to make friends with anybody and everybody. I think having a few intimate relationships that you value and take comfort in is completely fine. Trying to make more friends isn't necessarily always better. I get what you're saying, but can I really be expected to try and get to know each person on the chance that I might like them? I'm just as... I'm fine as it is just watching VTubers for my fill of relationships. Look, I'm still really appreciative that you ended up picking up this lifestyle change. Before then, I know you weren't in the best headspace. VTubers helped you more than I ever could, and I'm grateful for that. That's not... it's true. I was powerless when you needed support, and I don't want that to happen again. It's apparent that you enjoy watching VTubers, and that's completely fine. But I don't think those are the only interactions you should have. Could you try to make an honest effort again to try and meet some people? Like maybe joining a club or going to a local event, please, for me? Alright, alright. But in exchange, I don't want you blaming yourself for how I felt back during winter break. Sounds like a deal. By the way, I'll be in town briefly for business in a few days. I'll stop by your place, so let's grab dinner that night. Sure thing, just call me beforehand when you do- Look at that! Look at that gaming chair, man! Oh my god, he needs dual monitors, but like, holy cow, look at that! I just realized that! Over in the corner, like, look at that, that's so nice! Go, oh, look at this! <coughs> sure thing, just call me beforehand when you're on the way, instead of just barging in like you usually do. How cool, you should be glad your older sister comes for a surprise visit. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, remember that time I asked you for some recommendations for VTubers because I was curious? I finally got around to checking some of them out. Oh? Can't say this is personally my thing. I didn't really get much of what was going on. I don't really play video games, so I didn't understand any of the gaming streams, while a lot of the others were mainly chatting about topics I didn't really understand. Some clips I saw just consisted of really simple things, like a girl sitting down on a chair or another falling down off camera. There was another clip of a girl saying... Fuck? FAQ? What's up with that? Don't question it. The irony is lost when I have to explain it. But that's a, but that's about what I expected. I even told you that you wouldn't understand much. Hey, I wanted to try and understand your interests a bit more. Can't say I'm, I understand any better after checking it out though. 
Um, look at Yoko being such a good friend. But that's alright, as long as this is something you personally take solace in, just remember that there are other things out there that can bring you happiness. Anyway, I gotta go now, so let's catch up in a few days. Sounds good, see you later. Bye-bye. Aww. <coughs> I really like Yoko. Yoko seems like a good friend to, uh, Shoma. I laid my phone on my desk and let out a sigh. That sister- Oh! Yoko is- uh, Yoko is Shoma's sister. She really doesn't have to worry about me so much, but that's just like her. I feel a peace of mind when I know she's looking out for me. I guess I can try and follow her advice, but I'm not really expecting much. Even if I did, it would probably end up being something superficial. The type of relationship where we can pretend to care about each other's interests, and only associate with each other when there's something to be gained. This is why I stick to watching VTubers. There's no expectation for me to live up to a certain standard, aside from behaving in chat. These streamers share my passions and interests, so I won't be judged or misunderstood for what I do. I don't expect people to meet I meet off the street to be able to understand me. I let out a long sigh and look out the window. I might as well stop by the convenience store to grab a bite. There should be also there should also be a new issue of the weekly VTuber magazine. I heard Mana will be on this edition's cover. Nice! So we're actually gonna go outside and like touch some grass. VTuber, good night. <laughs> I'm greeted by the harsh glare of the sun as I get my first exposure of sunlight for the day. First exposure? I thought we took out the trash earlier. What? What happened to that? <coughs> I arrive at the local store located a few blocks down from my apartment. As I approach the magazine section, I see a figure of a girl staring at the last copy of the VTuber magazine. I immediately notice the dark circles under her eyes reflecting the very aura that's exuded from her. Even I don't ever look this dead inside when my donations get ignored. This might be a grim reminder of the harsh reality of the 3D world. It's a dark contrast to the positive atmosphere of VTuber stream. She appears to be lost in thought, staring at the image of Mana on the cover of the magazine. Okay, guys, I wanna, I wanna say this now. I feel like this is Mana, right? And the girl that we were looking at, the blue-haired girl, that is Mana's VTuber. Because, well, VTuber Connect, assuming that was a VTuber. I wanna say this is Mana here, like Mana IOL. Which is really surprising. She notices my presence and turns my way. Oh, sorry, did you want the last copy of the VTuber magazine? Wow, even her voice sounds like she's dead inside. I'm so used to hearing voices full of life on stream that I didn't realize people could sound like this. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. People, when they stream, sound very different from when they're like out and about in life. Because like in streaming, you put on this front and you're like, Oh my god, I'm so happy! Ah! Welcome! Whereas, like, IOL, like, if you guys met me, like, IOL, just walking to Walmart, I'd be like, oh, hi. What do you want from me? Instead of, oh my god, hi! You know, like, people who stream act very differently and sound differently than when they're walking around, like, real life. Like, in Walmart or Kroger's or a gas station. They sound very differently, you know? But I didn't realize that people could sound like this. Were you able to buy it? If you were, then that's alright. No, that's okay. Do you want it? Huh? I guess she's being nice and letting me have it. Thanks, yeah. I was planning on getting it. Well, in that case, I'll be buying it first. Huh? Jokes, jokes. You can take it. This girl. I guess she does have a bit of life in her. Thanks. I take extra caution picking up the magazine in case she tries to mess with me some more. But she just looks at me with a smug smile. So are you a fan of VTubers? That's an understatement. VTubers are my lifeblood. Oh, just curious. Why do you like VTubers? Offering a chance for me to talk about my favorite thing in the world? Say no more. First off, there's an implicit assumption that these people with anime avatars are going to share a common interest in Japanese entertainment media. I automatically build a connection with them because of that, as well as the immediate attraction that I have to a well-designed mouth. Next, VTubers often have a wide breadth Breadth of talents, including drawing, singing, dancing, and voice acting, which appeal to people. VTubers are just generally entertaining people that are nice to be around. When I'm watching a VTuber stream, it's almost like I'm hanging out with them. Overall, VTubers are just these incredible bundles of character and talent. It's almost otherworldly. I beam with pride. Um, I beam with pride at my detailed explanation, but I'm met with a blank expression. Hmm. I uh. I see. 
She doesn't look very impressed by my explanation. I'm starting to think I might have creeped her out a little. Maybe I shouldn't have said I like them because they're cute or funny. But hey, she was the one who asked. Say, have you ever thought that these VTubers aren't real? Huh? What do you mean? There are real people behind these avatars. I know, but what if that VTuber persona is not really who they are? What if the person behind them acted completely differently? It's almost like the VTuber doesn't actually exist as a person. I posit the abruptness of this question. This typically wouldn't be the type of questions that you would ask someone you just met. But I don't like the implications that are being made of VTubers so outright. Well, I don't doubt that they are... That there are differences in the way that people present themselves on stream and the way that people act in their personal lives. People act differently depending on the situation, like how to act in front of a stranger versus how you act at home. That's true for VTubers as well. I guess it also depends on their situation. Why are they acting differently? That's true. What about this? You have a person that acts a certain way, but for the sake of playing a VTuber persona, they have to adapt a different personality and act in a way they usually never would. This is why, oh my god, this just backs up the fact that this girl might be like the IRL version of Mana, the VTuber. Would you consider their VTubers to not be real? That the person just playing a character? The idea that an idolized VTuber isn't actually real is one that would sit well in, everybody, in anybody's mind. But thinking about it, there is some valid, validity in, to that idea. I watch VTubers all the time. But I always just assumed that there was a person by an avatar that acted the same way. As much as I hate to admit, I guess there's always the possibility that there might be a real person by an avatar who's just playing a part. But that, but does that necessarily mean that the VTuber isn't real? What would even constitute them as being real? This is making my head hurt. I guess there's an argument to be made that because there isn't a person that would act that way completely naturally, that identity might not be real. But at the same time, it's pretty difficult for a person playing a character to hide their individual quirks and mannerisms, even if they're adopting a completely different pers personality. That might just end up being a different side of a person. <coughs> I see. I don't think that's exactly an ex as simple as separating yourself from the part that you might be forced to play. There will likely always be a part of that person that shows. At the very least, in the minds of fans, the experiences and memories they have with that VTuber are real. Maybe that's what matters. Did you take that line from your favorite anime? You got me, but there is some truth to it. I don't want to I don't want to believe that my experiences with VTubers would all be for nothing because a person by an avatar is just playing a part. Well it wouldn't necessarily be for nothing. It's just that I'm sure a lot of fans would feel betrayed if that wasn't who the VTuber actually was. And the VTuber themselves might not be able to act the way they want or do the things they normally do. Speaking of which, I also want to ask, would the motivations of the person behind a VTuber avatar even make a difference? Say you have a person who's really shy, but they want to be able to put themselves out there and be more open. So they use a VTuber avatar to reinvent themselves and be a more outgoing person. Then you have another person who's shy, but they take solace in that and want to continue being shy as a VTuber. But they're forced to play the personality of an outgoing person, maybe because the agency they joined forced them to. Can both the VTubers in those scenarios still be considered to be the person's self? Um... My gut reaction is to say that VTuber persona for the person who voluntarily plays the that, that personality is more real and obviously themselves. But even if someone didn't want to play that outgoing personality, that might still be themselves acting in that way. And they might find themselves naturally becoming more outgoing, therefore that becomes their self. The first example definitely seems like it's persons who's themselves. Definitely seems like it's someone who's themselves when VTubing them. But if they can only act that way when they adopt that VTuber identity, then is that really themselves? Is that similar to putting on a superhero suit or transforming into a magical girl? I've watched enough magical girl anime to know the answer to that. Transforming in parasicles to perform feats that they otherwise might not have had the courage to do. But their true strength has, was always in their hearts, regardless of transformation. Oh, that's interesting. The fact that you watch magical girl show, that is, not what you said. 
I hope by interesting, you mean that it was a positive connotation. There's nothing wrong with watching magical girl anime as a young male adult. I find the stories to be inspiring. Oh, I agree. I just wish it was that simple in reality. Or maybe it really is that simple. I'm just overthinking things. Last question, does the audience's perception of the VTuber's identity matter in determining if their identity is real? I don't follow. Say you have a VTuber that wants to express themselves on stream, but how the audience sees that VTuber is differently from how that VTuber wants to be expressed, so that VTuber acts how the audience wants to see them. Is that VTuber identity considered real, and can that even be considered the person's self? I guess it's real in the sense that this is how a person acts, in a situation where they feel forced to act in a certain way. And also in a sense that the audience's perceived identity is fulfilled. And it's not real in the sense that this isn't the way that this VTuber would normally act, and they might just be playing a persona. I don't really know if that's still considered the VTuber's self. So is there supposed to be a clear, correct answer to these questions? I feel like I haven't got given a single one. I don't think so, at least. I don't really have a clear, correct answer. I'm mostly just asking so I can see other person's point of view. It might be naive, but I wish I could always be as simple as just be yourself and everyone will accept you and you will see it as a VTuber. Maybe for some, it is that simple and there's no problem. Some VTubers just be themselves on stream and enjoy what they do, and there's nothing wrong with that. But even then, not everyone might accept you and you might have people who push a different identity onto you. But people want, might end up being different from what you want to express. Maybe it causes a disconnect between that person and their VTuber persona, or maybe that's actually them. If there is a disconnect, then it probably becomes more pronounced when you adopt a new name and appearance. <coughs> probably. Then in that scenario, is that VTuber self the fake, and the usual self is the real self? Or maybe they're both different, but are real sides to the same person? Huh. This is like a really deep conversation I'm having with a complete stranger. Also, I wish I looked like this, IRL. If, if I looked like this, IRL... Oh my god. Or maybe they're both fake. I guess. How would that even work? I don't know. I just said that to mess with you. I applaud your ability to crack jokes right after asking such serious questions. How did I even get into this situation? I almost forgot why I came here in the first place. I can't say I necessarily hate this though, I hadn't really put much thought into what it means for the VTubers to take out a new identity. Even that conversation we just had felt like a jumbled mess. I feel like I gained a new perspective on VTubers. Oh yeah, this all started from being asked why I liked VTubers. What about you? Why do you like VTubers? Assuming that you do. What if I said I don't watch VTubers? I would demand my time and energy back. Here I thought I found a kindred soul. Okay, okay, yeah, I watch VTubers. Why I like them? Let's see. VTubing can be a shelter for those that need it. Sometimes you have nowhere else to go, sometimes you just need to get away from everything. Sometimes you aren't happy with the way things are, and you need someone to express yourself in ways that you normally couldn't. In the world of VTubing, you're free from the threads that tie you from becoming who you want to be. You can choose how you look, how you act, and just be able to reinvent yourself. I'm suddenly reminded of my own experiences of when I started watching VTubers. I really did have nowhere else to go. For the first time in who knows how long, it feels like someone might have understood me. I can relate to that. Oh? Sometimes we just need to feel like there's someone there talking and chilling with us. There might not be anywhere else to go to get that human in connection. I realized that what I said... I realized that I said I have no friends in a roundabout way. Mm -hmm. Even if there are people in your life that you can go to, it might feel like nobody understands you. Sometimes you just need a break from everything. Others might not even have the luxury of having friends, so they go to VTubers. She looks at me when she says that, as if to emphasize the idea that I might not have friends. Why were you looking at me with that expression when you said that? Come on, you're supposed to look at people when you're speaking to them. You didn't think I was implying anything, did you? This girl is giving me a smug smile. She knows what she's did. Nope, not at all. Must have been a coincidence. I must have been mistaken. Sorry for suspecting you. I have my best exaggerated display of poor acting. Good, good. I accept your apology. 
I was about to break into tears if I were to be suspected of implying that you have no friends. Hey, you're not supposed to point that out. So you are implying that. She gives a hearty laugh, then quickly goes back to her deadpan expression. I don't know what you're talking about. But going back to what I was saying, she's changing the subject. Even if there's nothing else to go, there's nowhere else to go. That's not to say that people should go and pour their troubles out to a streamer. You don't do that, do you? Hey, what do you take me for? My struggles are so pathetic that even if I wanted to inconvenience others, they would just think of me less than they already have would. Um, I don't think that's something you should be proud of. But I don't think it matters how pathetic your struggles are. There might always be others out there that are going through a rougher time, but that doesn't make your struggles any less important to you. What matters is how you deal with them, right? There's too much I don't get about this girl. Why does she suddenly start asking me difficult questions about VTuber? What's with the sad look she's giving? At the very least, I don't think she's being nice for the sake of seeming nice, like other people do. Honestly, my struggles really are pathetic. Why would I, why would I ever inconvenience VTubers to listen to the struggles of someone as insignificant as me? Even this girl in front of me, I'm not gonna try and own my pity from someone I just met. I'm sure my struggles are not worth the time or emotional energy from even random people. Thanks. I didn't want to push back in case she ends up expending any more energy on insignificant things. So why are you asking me all these questions? Do you typically interrogate everybody you meet? How rude. Of course I don't do this to everybody. You are just a prime victim. In what way was I a prime victim? You're a VTuber fan, for one. You, always, you also looked like you had nowhere else to spend your time. What you said was contradictory. Being a VTuber fan means I have no time to spend on anything else. Um, yeah, sure. That proves my point. I'm not entirely convinced that she would just randomly start asking me rude questions without any reason, but it doesn't seem like I'll get any answer out of her. I might as well take the chance to ask about her thoughts on other things. You said you were a fan of VTubers, right? What about Mana, the one on the cover? I guess you could call me a fan. Isn't she the greatest? That cool voice, that great sense of humor, the ability to handle any situation with confidence, the talent she has in so many fields. It ain't much. Oh, she's playing it off. She's playing it off. Huh? There are a ton of other VTubers out there that are more talented and put in just as much work. Oh, oh she's she's mana hating because she is mana. The stars just aligned for her to make it big. I take back what I thought about being misunderstood. You might as well be kicking me down and stomping on me. Hey, some people are into that. There's no way that she was just lucky and got to where she was. Well, that's the reality of VTubing world. It's all about timing and luck. That's just wrong. You can't just make nothing out of their talents and effort. Believe me, I really do respect the talents and efforts of VTubers, but the reality is that no matter how talented or how much effort some people put in, it won't be enough. They won't make it. Others with less talent and who put in less effort might make it big instead. Maybe it would be because they come across the right opportunity to join an agency. Maybe that one clip they had went viral. The internet isn't a place that perfectly and accurately rewards work and talent. Oftentimes, the success of a VTuber will bend to the rims of whatever was trending at the time. And if that it was easy to just predict or figure out, then anybody could just make it big. I have to stop myself from getting angry. I know I shouldn't get defensive about things like this, but any of fun to the VTubers I like, Mana in particular, feels like an attack on myself. I think I've calmed down. But thinking about it, there is some valid validity to what she's saying. The internet can be unpredictable, and how VTuber and how a VTuber can make it big isn't often something that's easily determined. I watch plenty of smaller VTubers myself, and to say that they're not making it big because they're not working hard enough, or that they aren't talented enough, is disingenuous. At the same time, you can't just make it big by timing and luck alone. People aren't going to just keep watching because you got lucky. There has to be some appeal to get people to stay. Sorry, I got a bit emotional. I think you're right about some things. We can't predict who will become big. There might be plenty of VTubers out there that could have been the next big thing but never did. But there's no way that a VTuber would, would remain successful without having the hard work and talent required to do so. I don't think that Mana could be as successful as she is just by getting lucky. I'm sure there was some of that involved, 
But the reach she gets by touching the hearts of our viewers isn't just a product of timing or luck. I truly believe that who she is as a person and the work she puts in is the reason why she continues to appeal to so many people. She just looks at me with surprise. Who is she, huh? Sorry, I got a bit emotional as well. Maybe you're right. Regardless, popularity isn't the only indicator for success for successful VTubers, is it? There are a ton of VTubers that are satisfied with the community they've built, regardless of size. I'm sure there are people who think that way, but at the same time, I think in the back of their minds, a lot of them also think that it would be nice if they were to make it big. There are also plenty of VTubers out there that have single-digit average viewers and are desperately rich to grow. Can't say that I've been that through that or know what that goes or know what goes through their minds, but you have a point. I've seen many VTubers try to put themselves out there on multiple platforms to try and grow. And imagine how many of their stories have been denied before they could even get lucky because they started at the wrong time or just got unlucky. Did someone kick you down this morning or something? You don't seem to have the most optimistic outlook on things. This morning? Someone's been kicking me down every day. Well, uh, you should probably tell that person to stop. Yeah, well that's someone is life. I'll make sure to tell them next time. But anyway, since we're talking about mana, what if the one behind mana is a completely different person? I think you're mana! Tired girl, I think you're mana. You mean what we were talking about earlier? Do you mean that the person behind mana acts completely differently? That's a bit hard to believe. Hmm. I don't know, would it actually matter? What do you mean? Even if mana is completely is different off stream, then does that really matter? I mean, like you said earlier, there could be a ton of reasons for it. You wouldn't feel betrayed that she was lying to you in, in a way? I think in the back of my mind, maybe I would, but she doesn't owe it to us in any way to act a certain way. Is that so? What about you? Aren't you a Mana's fan? How would you feel? I would feel betrayed that I, insp that I find inspiration in someone so amazing, but she turned out to be pathetic in reality, that she was just putting up a front the entire time. That's really harsh. That really wasn't the answer I was expecting. Maybe you are Mana because you're self-hating yourself. I guess there are really harsh Mana fans out there. I would have thought that everybody liked her. I doubt that's actually the case though. Well, reality has a tendency to disappoint. I'm surprised you haven't had expectations in the first place to disappoint. Hmm, you're right. Let me rephrase. Reality has a tendency to be exactly as I expect it to be. I can't help but give a chuckle at the absurdity of this conversation. How long have we been standing here? 20 minutes? I don't even know this girl's name, but I can tell she's unique to say the least. By the way, I don't think I caught your name. Try to slide into my DMs, I see. Luring me into this long winded conversation and then trying to get my information out of me? Hey, you're the one who started asking me questions. And don't make me out to be a predator just for asking your name. My name's Makoto. Makoto Kagorazaka? That's a long name. Wow, that's a mouthful. My name's Shoma. Shoma Hazagawa. Well, Hazagawa. I should get going now. Oh, I remember that Yoko Ni requested of me earlier. Rather spend my time playing games or watching VTubers than try and converse with strangers, but talking with this girl wasn't all that bad. She has a certain bitterness toward the world that I kind of admire. A lot of other people I've met just I've met just seem to passively agree with anything, but she doesn't seem to be afraid of speaking her mind. And she has some interesting takes and questions, but I don't even know anything about her and we just happen to meet here by chance. There's no excuse that I can use for us to converse again. I can't just ask for Ahima her number, why would I think that she would want to continue associating with me anyway? I'm just being selfish. I'm not going to inconvenience her any further. Sounds good. It was nice talking to you. Maybe we'll see each other around. Well, I'll be here the same time tomorrow. I didn't get to buy the magazine I wanted. Isn't that just a roundabout way of telling me to come back tomorrow? Maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself. See ya. I watch as she walks away down the street. Surely people haven't changed this much since the last time I talked to them. I'm sure she's just an oddity. My stomach suddenly reminds me of the reason I came to the store. I take the VTuber magazine and a prepackaged meal to the counter to check out. Nice! Ah! Oh, big stretch. Anyways, guys, I think that is going to conclude today's video. We've been, we, I almost said streaming. I'm not streaming right now. I'm recording right now. Oh my goodness. But guys, I think 
that is going to be it for today. We were recording for about 40 minutes already. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much, so very much for watching. I love you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe though for more. Definitely should do that. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.